All right. So let me ask you, I have a couple questions for you, but number one, who gets to tell you who you are? Who gets to tell you who you are? Um, maybe if you're a kid here, you're like, well, mom and dad, they tell me who I am. They tell me where to go, what to do, how high to jump. Um, others of you are like, what do you mean? I get to tell me who I am. For some of you, you're like, well, we're at church, of course. God tells us who we are. And that's the obvious answer. I want you to hold on to this question and think about it because it is one that you wake up every morning wrestling with, even if you don't know it. And that is who gets to tell me who I am? Who tells me who I am? Second question I have for you is what holds your affections? Or maybe a better way of saying that is what is the object of your desire? What holds your affections? What are the things that you, that hold you, that you have a passion and intensity about? I would argue to you that the things that hold your affection might clue you into who you are and what tells you who you are and who gets to tell you who you are. So, question number one, who gets to tell you who you are? Number two, what, is, what holds your affection? And number three, I have a statement for you, and it's mind-blowing statement. It's a statement you've never thought about. You're going to walk away from the sermon going, wow, Eric is so amazing. And that is, you have a body. Right? I don't know if you knew this, but you have a body. Right? So if you, if you walk away from the sermon, and you're like, I don't know what that sermon was about. Well, I'm telling you right now is that at least you have a body. That is what the sermon is. All right, so...